Hi everybody, Scouts311 here, and we are starting an actual playset. <clears throat> I was did a lot of the tutorial stuff and I recorded a lot of it, like like in how you would kind of play the game. But I realized that's pretty boring. Nobody wants to really watch that, do they? I don't think so. So I'm just gonna go right into a playset because that's kind of the main, one of the main things of this game besides the ability to, of course, make your own worlds. So we're gonna go with monsters. I actually, he's been playing the pirates one, um, and I haven't recorded it, so I wanted to kind of finish that one off. I started this one, um, so I'm going to start a new game. I didn't get very far in it and just wanted to see, check it out and see how it was. So yeah, I played the Pirates one and uh, just to get the feel how these work. And they're not very difficult, of course. But they are cool. I like how they keep putting these uh, characters in, in the game at points, so making you kind of thinking about, because they're not out yet, like Rapunzel is in that cut there, and she's not out yet until October, November, or whenever the next batch comes. Can you believe it, Sully? It's our first spirit week as MU students. Can't you just smell the excitement in the air? Yeah, I think that smell is you, Wazowski. <laughs> What's the big deal about spirit week anyway? Oh, morning, Don. Oh, hey there, Sully. And a big hello to you, too, Mike. Yeah, yeah. Hi, Don. What's the big deal? It's the one time of year that the entire student body bands together to show those lousy fear tech goons that Monsters University is... A mess. Exactly. Wait, what? <gasps> Uh-oh. All right. I'm bringing Sully in, and I'm bringing in the bolt. Wow, your tech really did a number on our campus. Think you could help me clean it up? Come on, we really need you to break up those fear tech standees. Just pretend pieces of eight, a battery and button. the bolt thing. And if you combine those two power discs, you get overpowering strength, chance for bonus sparks from enemy break defeats. A standee, it should give you some tokens to collect. I'll explain about those in a minute. So basically you can level up faster. Sparks are your experience, little orbs. Now when you level your character up in this game, they don't actually go up and level as though they don't get stronger. It's more about them becoming, um, you get levels which are spins that you use to unlock more stuff in the game for um, the, the uh, toy box. So, okay. So I did play a bit of this. So some of the stuff I have gotten already. But we're gonna go through here. Wow, you are really good. And try to get through this at decent speed. Show it off the game, how how it plays. Done. Now the rest. This one is more of a stealthier type of thing than some of the other ones. Pirates one is kind of a straight up swashbuckling action type of thing, which is pretty fun. You you sail the ships and stuff, so they're a real eyesore, huh? But I bet if you bumped into them, that'll get rid of them. Glam Gazer. See, that wasn't unlockable. You got. They give them to us when we scare, surprise, or otherwise prove our school is the best. At the end of the week, the school with the most tokens wins. Cool, huh? Awesome! Oh, yeah. A beacon of light over someone lets you know they have a mission for you. Come on, let's go talk to somebody and find out how we can help. Okay, so, um, we can talk to him. He's the only one available right now. You can see a beacon of light. It shows up pretty well. There's also, and this is a really early one in this game, there's a challenge here. I did them in the last, when I was playing before, I did all three of them. Um, you have to go easy, medium, hard in that order, and then once you unbeat all of them, you can do them again, Ready to play? any difficulty. Awesome. So, since I've beat them already... Ooh, no. Okay, I guess I do have to redo all of them again. Okay, well, let's do them. Here we go. I restarted the game. I get a new game, so everything is unlocked. Watch Interesting. Okay, so we have 40 seconds to destroy five of these. Which is not very difficult at all. That's why it's easy. Even on hard, this one's pretty, uh, pretty simple. Done. Yeah. 
You did it. All right, so now we can do the medium one. Here we go. Which is the same thing. So far in the pirates one, they've been the same, just you have to get more of them in the same amount of time basically. So we need to get 10 of these now. Fantastic. Which is not going to be hard either. I'll just knock some dude out. I don't know if I can scare these and break them. Yeah, I can. Sully's special attack is a scare. He is a monster after all. Ready for a real test? All right, so now we can do the hard one. Real challenge. Challenge initiated. Here's the goal. Excuse me. the time to beat. So now we have to get all 15 in 40 seconds. And the harder ones, it seems like you get more coins, more tokens, basically. <laughs> I almost feel sorry for him. Looking great. Awesome. I actually wanted to upgrade my ship in Pirates, so I kept basically grinding the the hard version of their thing. The pirates one, you just have to run through like these things. You don't have to punch them in so much time. It's a similar type of setup, but different, you know. So you get more stuff on the hard level, of course. Alright, so. Now we can go do some more questing. Basically, the game is broken up. These games are broken up into main quest and side quests. Oh, here's some old scare simulation dummies we borrowed from the school of scaring. Uh, we thought we could use them to practice surprising a fear tech student. <laughs> See, I've changed the dummies to look like fear tech students for some extra motivation. Go ahead, try to scare one. Wow, oh, you're a really good scarer. But maybe you should scare a couple more. You know, just just to make sure you got it down. <laughs> <laughs> You're almost there! That's great! You'll know it worked if you hear a super loud scream. You might want to plug your ears. Yeah! Awesome! I knew you were the right monster for the job! <laughs> Okay, so now we got some others to do here. Ah. I was just reading about the Pulaski sneak and scream. It's supposed to be a great way to get the drop on fear tech students that are actually smart. I want to give it a try. If you want, okay. you can have more than one mission open at a time. Oh, come on. I know the mission that. Mission log will help you keep track of them. From here, you can get to both the mission log and the toy store. Open the mission log. This shows all the missions you've accepted and lets you activate a particular mission. Great! According to my book, you have to sneak up without being seen. Oh. Then, oh. let out a big roar! They've set up a few more simulators that'll help us practice. Alright, so we gotta sneak up on these guys. You sneak with the ZL. And then roar with the ZR button. Perfect! Now just try it a couple more times and you'll be a sneak and scare champ. It's actually, well, it's cool that you have to sneak around at this, with the monsters. Being this one, having be the sneaky one that they've released so far. Because it makes sense. You're scaring. You know, they try to tie in well with the movies, which they do. Okay, so we're going to go around the back side on this guy, I think. Now there's collectibles all over the place, and I actually started recording this. Here's one back here I didn't know about. Monster University hat. All this stuff we can end up using in the editor, basically. Um, but you can't really use it till you unlock them. So you do have to search for stuff if you want to use that thing, or just if you want to collect, which I do. I'm a collectible type of guy in games. Just a couple more to 
So you have to grab them all, and the problem in my first video when I was recording this was that I was spending way too much time looking around and trying to figure out how to get those things, and it just felt like it was very slow moving. So that's why I started over. I'm going to try to keep these around 15 or so minutes. That's the plan at least. 15 to 20. And um, not spend a lot of time looking for that stuff. If I see one, you know, I'm going to, like, that looks like it's pretty easy to grab, like that one. I'm going to grab it. But there's a lot of vertical ones in this one, this game. On top of buildings in this monsters one, and they're kind of you gotta kind of take a little second to figure out how to get there. And if you add all that up, it ends up becoming a little too slow paced. That was it was just too slow, so that's why I started over. Yeah! What's there? At least I think so. I've never actually been able to pull that one off. Alright, so we are rolling. Alright, so here's some side quest stuff. Get rid of the banners before someone sees them. Oh boy. Alright, let's do it. I wish the side quests had different colors than the main quest. Not that it matters, but I'm the type of guy, gamer, that I like to get all the side quest stuff done first, if possible, before I can move on with like the story. Not that it's that hard to figure out, I guess, what it's going to be. But so the ones with the D's, you know, this one we might be able to. No, if he has the Ivy, it won't let you latch on. But if it doesn't, you can climb. So you basically just gotta get up here. And knock these guys down. And the same on the other end. Let's see, there's one there we can try to get. But this building was a little bit of a pain. Some of these buildings last time to try to remember. To figure out how to get on top of them. Not that it's that hard, but it took too long. In the video, I thought. Don't give me a slam dunk. <laughs> All right, we got to spin for that. Okay, so where are we at here? We're at 13. We'll keep going a little bit. A hole in my backpack. <laughs> What? Oh, he dropped. He dropped crap. <laughs> Tokens. Um, yeah. So I'm using the compass in this, so it can move smoother. I saying the pirates when I was playing. Actually, I've put in. It'll only probably take a few hours to do this one then. The Pirates one, I was reading like people were re the reviews, and they're saying each one lasts three hours or four hours, but I can, I, I'm, I'm like five hours into the Pirates one, and I'm not even halfway through it. But I also basically played the vast majority of it without the compass on, so I was running around searching, which is normally how I would do it, and then I also was trying to do every side quest I could find. So if you blow right through the game, I'm assuming it probably won't even take you a couple hours. But if you actually play it where you're trying to get everything, all the capsules, play without the compass on, it would probably not, it, you know, it's going to definitely make it last longer. But for the video, I don't want to, you know, you don't want to watch me running around trying to find everything, I don't think. And taking forever, so... Monster. 
All right, so we can grab these two over here. Warts and stripes now unlocked. And what is this one? Frightening feathers. Oh, there's a pendant over here. What is this thing doing here? Find all 20 around campus to show your school pride and earn a special prize. Okay, cool. All right, I guess we're gonna end here. We're about 15 minutes into this thing. So I'll grab this last capsule that I see, and then we'll continue the next bit, I guess. Monstrous, now unlocked. Cool. So we'll chill here, and um, see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you later.